Hi, this is Marto. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Nikola Sedlak and Oliver Vihok. It was played in Hungary in 2011. Nikola Sedlak had white pieces and he started with d4. Oliver Vihok played d5. Bishop to f4, c5, e3, knight to c6, c3, queen to b6, attacking the pawn on b2. Queen to b3, and now c4, attacking the queen. What now? Nicholas Sedlak played queen to c2. If queen takes on b6, pawn takes queen, this line does not give advantage to white. So we have queen to c2, but now bishop to f5, attacking the queen, which is the defender of the pawn on b2. White to move. What would you do? I guess queen to c1 comes to mind. Do you agree? But there was a surprise. Nicola Sedlak captured the bishop, allowing queen takes pawn on b2. White is going to lose the rook. Queen takes on d5. Queen takes rook. White to move. White has only one good move in this position, and that is, what is the best move for white? It is queen to b5, defending the knight and attacking the pawn on b7. Oliver Mihok castled queenside. White to move, how would you continue now? Perhaps bishop takes pawn on c4 comes to mind, do you agree? Nicola Sedlak played queen to f5, check, intending queen to c2, trapping black queen, e6, queen to c2, g5, knight to a5 was tried in the game Ortega Mazzini in 2007, and black lost that game too, g5, bishop to g3, Knight to a5, defending the pawn on c4, intending rook to d5, rook to b5. Knight to f3, rook to d5, on a rescue mission to save the queen. Bishop to e2, quiet developing move. Rook to b5, and white castled just on time. Knight to f6, if queen to b2, then queen to a4. We have knight to f6, white to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the winning move for white. What is the winning move? The winning move is queen to a4, attacking the knight and the rook and allowing rook takes knight. Rook takes knight. But now queen takes knight on a5, threatening checkmate. Knight to d5. Well, black was not in a rush to capture the rook. Because after bishop takes knight to d5, queen takes on a7. So we have knight to d5, queen to a7, f6, defending the pawn on g5 and preventing knight to e5. Knight to d2, attacking the rook, which is the defender of b7 pawn. Rook takes rook check. Knight takes rook. Queen takes pawn on c3. Indeed, black rook saved the queen, but black has another problem. The problem is exposed king. Queen to b8 check. King to d7. Queen takes pawn on b7 check, king to d8, queen to b8 check, king to d7, white to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? What is the best move for white? Hmm? Nicholas Sedlak played the best move, bishop to h5, exploring weaknesses on light squares. e5, well, bishop to g7 doesn't work because of queen to d6 check, 
king to c8, queen takes pawn on e6 check, king to b7, queen takes knight, if I check and the attack continues. And what else? Bishop to e7 doesn't work, queen takes rook. So we have e5, but now bishop to g4 check, king to c6, queen to a8 check, king to d6, queen to d8 check, king to c6, bishop to d7, king to d6, well, king to b7 would just prolong the game, but black would not save his king. We have king to d6, white to move, white played the move and black resigned. The move is bishop to e8 check, black resigned. In view of this continuation, king to e6, queen to d7, check, mate. What a game! At the start, it looked like that black was doing well. Black won the rook. Then black queen was in a danger of being trapped. Queen was saved in the end. But it all cost time. Black never had time to develop his king side, which resulted in exposed black king and checkmate. Do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.